Okay, this is the first time I've done a video, so you have to bear with me. Um, I've stitched the um, gingerbread exactly like you always would, and I've just done nearly the final step. Put the back on it, and that's the front. So now it said to change. I've not actually looked at the instructions, but um, it'll say to change once you've done that last step to put the white thread in or you could have whatever whatever colour you want and it will stitch the actual frayed the uh, tassel bit so you'll have to excuse me like I said it's the first time I've done one of these and uh, I don't know how it's going to work out but hey ho They're the first tassel of it done. And a bit like Philippa, I've started using uh, the clear vinyl you can get as well to stitch these on rather than the uh, tear away. Now on the last one that I did, I didn't change the bobbin thread, I kept it white, but I think this time I'm going to change the bobbin thread as well. And because I've got a red scarf this time, then I'm going to change that. So I'm just going to pop this down, see if it'll... You can see that's what the back looks like at the minute. And just change my bobbin thread. So I'll just put that back in there. First one I did of these I forgot to put the ribbon on the back so because it were only for a picture I just tacked it on with a bit of hand sewing but this time I remembered the ribbon. So we're on the last step now. I've got all the beeps and sounds turned off my machine just because I can sometimes do it late at night and uh, it can be a bit of a pain, a bit noisy. Right. 
So, I don't know how easy this is going to be doing it like this. But you can see there all those white stitches. And I usually carefully go through the middle. And undo those first those stitches. It, it's a bit scary at first. But I think it's a good effect. Oops. <laughs> Move my phone my phone didn't I? So they're all loose now. same again it's difficult doing this and making sure I've got everything so you can see it so you can see everything's all loose on that side and I'm not going to stuff these. What I ought to have done is, do, is go around this twice and close that gap up, but it doesn't matter. And then, just with your finger, you get that frayed effect. Like I said, you'll probably do a better job because I'm trying to watch two things and keep it in focus and all the rest of it. So I'm going to cut it out and I'll take a picture.